Hey, yo, what's the good? It's your boy, Super Kev. Welcome to another episode of the Super Kev Livecast season for We On YouTube. Take a look. We on YouTube. For those of you new to the page, welcome to the hottest to-do list show on the internet. If it's not your job, to let me know who got it so I can like, comment, share, and subscribe to their work the same way I ask you to like, comment, share, and subscribe to yours truly. If by the end of the episode, you feel a little bit more comfortable with the seven forms of income. Okay, this week, we are still speaking about the medical doctors. However, we have made it to the passive section of our portfolio. All right, incomes three through seven are what we call passive. They make money behind your back, all right? And we like that. We like all the money, all right? So income three is interest income. When you loan your money out and it comes back greater than what you loaned out, hopefully, all right? Before we move any further, make sure you pay your taxes. This is not financial advice, entertainment purposes only. Now, income three for medical doctors. Well, before we get to three, let's review the last couple of weeks, right? As a CNA, we just started saving. And as a nurse, we should, we probably have 12 months worth of savings in our savings account, right? So now that we are doctors, we outside. Let's just put it like that. So, what can we do, right? We already have 12 months worth of liquid savings and we want to do it again. Real quick, before I go on, this is also for people who want to stop at income three, okay? Let's say all you wanna do is get a job, get a side hustle and have some savings, right? But you wanna do them to the highest level. Go get your PhD or doctorate to improve your earned income potential. For your side hustles, that really comes down to you and your connections and your desire and all of that stuff. And for income three, which is what we're speaking about today, think about certificates of deposit. Now, what I want to briefly speak about is how much should be in there. So remember, your your bills, right, dictate how much we're spending. So I believe the doctors can do the 50, 30, 20 rule, right? So bills are about 30% of your check. What I'm asking is for you to look into having CDs that each equal 30% of your check with an end goal of 50 CDs in a year. All right, one more time and then I'll get out your way. You're gonna take one month's worth of bills all right, which should be 30% of your check. And what we're going to do is take 30% of whatever your bills are. So if your bills are $10,000 a month, you're going to take $3,000 and you're going to open up a CD with a goal of having 50 CDs with $3,000 each if your bills are 10000 10, a month. All right, that's going to take you a long time to accumulate. And if you're working on that as well as continuing to be a doctor serving the, the world and taking care of people and you got your side hustle, which if you watched last episode, we were probably a tutor, but you can do whatever you want. I think you're, you're leaving a great legacy for your children, family, or whoever your um, loved ones that you want to leave things for are. I don't even know if I said that right. And I think that's time for me to go. All right. And on that note, it's your boy, Super Kev. As long as I'm a live, there will be a live. And if you made it to the end of the episode, let me know you made it to the end by writing three. All right. That was just random. So I thought of it, let it out. You already know what it is. I love y'all. I will be back soon. Peace mode.